Hello, folks, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Alright, so I may have murdered a couple of people. Might have happened. You know, these things happen. They're, um, it's dangerous out here in the Old West. Take some fruit. We would use that later. Can't take the pans or anything. Uh, one thing we haven't done yet is craft much. Not sure what we have exactly to craft, but we'll see. Apparently, I have some mature meat. I should definitely cook that. Some meat's only good when it's matured. Otherwise, uh, not so much. I don't think these guys have any rifles I want to take, so... Or had, I suppose, since they probably don't, you know, actually belong to them anymore, being dead and all. And we had the one piece of provisions there. And I can't make anything else, it looks like, so we're good. Move away from the scene of the crime. I already slept at the scene of the crime, and that seems a little dangerous, for sure. And yeah, they just seem to have regular revolvers. If we were on a hunt, well, we're heading over to the bounty, what we were doing. Um, theoretically, there's rabbits around here, but it seems like there's only coyotes. I have a coyote pelt now, but it wasn't great. Yeah, I thought maybe there'd be rabbits around. I thought we saw rabbits, but I don't see them now. I do like the resting, like rested your horse too. It's cool. I mean, really, if you want to rest your horse, you should probably take the saddle off. But it's nice that they give that to us in the abstract, so we don't have to do that. Because putting the saddle back on every time would be kind of annoying. Yeah, I think these are. I mean, the coyotes are eating something. They're probably just not eating the rats and the raccoons. But I don't know exactly know what they are eating. It's funny, every time I see a wagon now, I'm kind of tempted to rob it. As in, take the actual full wagon. We could probably just jump on board and kill the driver and then drive it to the, uh, drive the place, the, uh, the reseller place. What the hell is that guy's name? I totally forget his name now. Good morning. But it seems like something we should be able to do. Oh, there's somebody over there shooting something, apparently. And the last time was O'Driscoll's. No, it wasn't. It was Lemony Raiders. Would you be interested in some friendly competition? No, 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 no. No, no competition for me, thanks. I'm already poor on money as it is. I don't need to be betting on some random nonsense. The reason why we're out here in the first place is we let some lady hitch a ride. Well, is it really hitching? It's not really hitching, right? Hitching a ride is when. You say, hey, you go in my way. Not, hey, can you take me like three leagues out of your way. There is a difference. What is this guy carrying this big old drum? It's oil. Cornwall. I don't know what that means. All right. Well, oh, hey, there's a big question mark over here. What could possibly go wrong? I'm going to explore it. Always go to the middle of it first. That's what I usually do. Oh, there's a wagon over here. Hmm, it's awfully suspicious. There's a guy there. Well, let's get off our horse here. Let's get the uh, let's get the carbine maybe. Yeah, actually, that's um. Yeah, that might be better here. Put that one instead. There you go. All right. Maybe the guy's friendly. Did the university send you? Oh, or the lady? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? I mean, I think I'd know. Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. 
I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I read about I'm that. trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis. Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. Gotta be gentle. <gasps> Listen, if you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Actually, I think I found some. Uh, well, one anyway. Here. Excellent. I will go and investigate. <laughs> and we'll be proving a lot of stuck up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. <sighs> Good day to you, sir. Okay. Well, now we know that there's a thing here. All right, the location of each bone can be found. Okay, so we found one. Oh, 30 bones? Okay. That's going to take a while. That is definitely going to take a while to find all 30. I mean, I think we knew the number anyway. We just didn't know who to hand it to, so now we do. Hey, there's yarrow leaves over here. I should probably grab these. Uh, pick it. Was it? Yep, yarrow for sure. All right, great. Uh, doesn't say I'm able to pick this anymore. Oh, I cannot carry any more yarrow. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Let's continue on our bounty area. Uh, where'd my horse go? Oh, my horse is down there. My horse, my horse likes to back up to, I don't know where. Get over here, horse. Come on, horse, come on, over this way. I'm at least they're well trained enough to be able to come towards me, but they also don't go all the way towards me. Here we go, hey horse. Sorry, Tordarian, I've named you and everything. I should probably just keep you with that name. Okay, let's go. I don't know how close we are to Strawberry, but we're somewhere near Valentine right now, I think. Which is fine. It's workable. We probably just don't want to go to the camp just yet. Although, probably not a horrible idea. If I were to get some deer and head over to the camp, like, we don't want them to starve, right? Has been a while. Um, yeah. That's probably not a bad idea. Let's, um... Go to somewhere we can see some deer, maybe? That's a big old cliff. Let's try not to jump off of that. Oh, there's a rabbit. There's a rabbit. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Of course, the rabbit was booking it from me, so I don't know how all this is going to work, but let's do this anyway. Grab the small game arrows. Alright. Here you go. Nice and easy. Uh, let's do that, please. Yeah, grab that. Duck down. And... Okay, no sign of the rabbit whatsoever. We can totally get him, though. Now that we know he exists, that's the real trick. Sometimes you just don't know the game exists. Also, don't fall off the edge. I mean, it's unlikely the rabbit decided to leap to his doom here. So he probably just circled. The problem is where? I mean, think I'd have him cornered there, but apparently not. No sign of the game whatsoever. I mean, I guess the rabbit could have, like, gone down here, right? Anything's possible. It's a nice, easy slope. Sure, why not? A little close to the road, most rabbits like, I always think. Maybe, like, he was trying to just get away from it. Like, go down this way and circle down to the gorge, maybe. Okay, assuming that's true. Um, what if we go down here? Like, away from the road. Don't see any trails yet. You're a cute little bird, though. Oh, that's right. This is the abandoned town. Well, I mean, it seems like nature would take it over eventually. Shoot. Uh, there's something over there. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a deer there. I don't know what this is. 
or this? I'm gonna try to take this. Missed it. Oh, those are totally rabbits, though. Those are rabbits. Okay, let's go over where we shot. We don't want the deer, although, I guess. I have to do like three rabbit pelts. It's gonna take a while to get that. Now that we know they're running, theoretically, it's those trails right there, huh? That they were a pair? Time to take the deer right now. Could probably change arrows over. The deer's trying to evaluate me as a threat. Doesn't think I'm a threat. Uh, we definitely want to take the deer home, I think. Let's do that. Uh, so call him. Or I don't even need to call him. There we go. That was like dead on. That was great. We're definitely coming back to this deer. What we're also doing is getting these rabbits. Probably make sure we change arrows. There we go. Okay, small game arrows. Great. Let's go. Nice and easy. We just have to get to this rabbit. We'll come back for the deer later. But it's not like he would have waited for us, so that's why I shot him down. Okay, so the rabbits just like, well, they rabbited. Oh, right there, right there, right there, right there. I don't think he saw me. He might have saw me. Like, he backed up a little bit, but I don't see... See where he went. I thought we saw a rabbit right there. If I'm quicker on the draw, probably could have just taken him right there. Okay, I think he circled all the way around. I think that's what we saw here. Yeah, so it's like he circled around this way. Oh, yep, there he is right there. I see him. Not, again, quick enough on the draw to be able to take him, but I totally saw him. Okay, the trick is we're getting, we're getting too close sometimes. There we go. There we go. I know you're right there. Oh, you're, like, right there. It turned red briefly. There we go. Gonna be a tricky shot. I think I got him? I think I got him. Oh no, I didn't because he's still he's still able to move. He is red, I think. Uh, so there's something right there. I see you there. Okay, I don't know if that worked either. Oh no, it did. It did because it's on the mini map now. I don't know, if I had to shoot him twice, that's probably not a good sign. Poor quality, my guess is. Yep, poor rabbit pelt. Alright, I'll pick up the rabbit anyway. I understand rabbits get eating. Uh, we want that other game, which is also marked on our map, so we'll go ahead and run over that way. Then we'll head back to camp. Or Dutch's camp, anyway. Okay, just keep on running. We have to do it in pace. Boom, 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 boom. Then call our horse. All right, the bird is gonna pick over the carcass. We gotta be careful about that. Uh, horse. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. You know, I'm so used to horses in both Assassin's Creed and. This Breath of the Wild didn't come immediately, but Assassin's Creed, they definitely came immediately. I'm so used to that that I get used to, like, they actually need to travel, like, an X number of distance here. I suppose we should skin the deer here before we hand it over for, for food. Alright, so skin this. What is that, like a one, two, three, four, five, six, six point buck? Or a dozen point if you want to count both of them, right? I think, you think for a for a buck you only count on one side. All right, so go ahead and put that over there. Nope, oh, throw. There we go. And then over here, 
Yeah, pick him up. We're going to take him over to camp. I can't apparently harvest all of his pieces, but I can totally give him over to camp and they can do whatever they want with them. Okay. We know Dutch's camp is right over that way, so let's do that. Oh, we need the road for that. Um. Yeah. Yeah, going straight's not gonna work, right? Because they're up on our ridge. I should probably mark it on the map, otherwise it's gonna be real difficult to get to. All right, we're not that far at all. All right, let me go ahead and uh, just do that. I guess there we go. Okay, so the road's up. Oh, past the cliffs. That's not going to work for me. Uh, what if we go over here? Man, you got to give Dutch credit. When he puts a camp out of the way, they really go out of their way. There we go. Hey, a road of sorts. As long as you, you know, as long as you're loose with the definition of the word road, it's fine. Don't kill a deer by running it over. I mean, we've done that before. It is funny every time, but still, it's not. I went a little closer than I thought. A lot closer than I thought. Okay. Go ahead and get to know your fellow friends here. There you go. Remove the buck. Boy, this is a nice haul. Okay, apparently Arthur thinks this is a nice haul. Alright, so we'll go ahead and take this to the chuck wagon here. The horses think about me, Karen. I mean, deer and horses are not exactly related, but they're close. That gives the chuck wagon. The thing, the, the thing is, we all gotta die. We all gotta we die. All gotta That's a horrible thing die. to say to somebody. Excuse me. We all gotta right. die. Well, there, there we go. The butcher over there. there that's what we want. The to live. I think I can run with this. Can I? I can kind of pick up the pace a little bit, but it's not easy. Ah, Mr. Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. Okay, here we go. This guy's waiting. I thought or he was, I was waiting. Butcher. You're covered in blood, man. I mean, I might be a little covered in blood, but it's the not that bad. All right, here we go. Poor Cody pulled his garbage. Poor Robert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. We really needed this. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the the pelt on my own. It's only worth two bucks, but still, two bucks is two bucks. You can have the buck carcass though. I don't need that. Just the time, Mr. Morgan. So the stringy meat and the animal facts. I don't think I use that for anything. Game meat. Okay. So raise the camp funds a little bit. I'm okay with that. Sure, venison meat. Yeah, that's okay. Can't really donate anything else. Not here anyway. Thank right. you, Arthur. Yeah, covered in blood. All right, so. There are some wagons here we've done nothing with. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Just Strauss. I don't think we can do anything with Strauss, but like, this is the uh, supposedly the medicine wagon. Can't help but notice nothing here. Way to donate to this? I forget what it is. There's a thing here. What is this? Demon photograph. Sure. Okay. I mean, she's pretty. I like the fan. Uh, there's probably something we can read here. I can't read that. It's written in cursive, and it's very, very small. Nope, can't read that at all. All right, put it back. There you go. So how do we donate to get the rest of these things all sorted? It seems like the chuck wagon is not exactly fantastic either. Yeah, there's some exclamation points here. There's got to be something we can do. Uh, maybe if we specify donate? Let's try this. If I go over here and don't... Oh, crafting upgrades. There we go. Hey, if you could give me some leather working tools, I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. Oh, okay. leather, leather making turns would be nice. Chuck wagon. Oh, we need a proghorn skull. We need a perfect carcass? Dude, that's asking a lot. Like a regular moose antler I might be able to get. Like a perfect carcass? Oh, see, I should have killed that snake that bit me. 
Yeah, they want perfect ones for all these. They are not... Cowhide? How about you get a perfect cowhide? I think I've asked these questions before. But that's crafting upgrades. Like, that's not quite the same thing. Or just leather working tools at the ledger. Oh, you need to go to the ledger. That's totally what it is. Good day, Mr. Of course, the camp has more money than I do. But we're supposed to be donating on the regular. Good morning. Hey, Molly. Hey there. Okay, let's look at the ledger here. Yeah, see, we're red in all categories, which can't be good. Um, so this just tells me what people have done. Oh, there we go. Joss Medicine Wagon. $50 to increase total supplies. Increase armory supplies as repeater ammo and arrows. All right. Buy a horse station. Place to retrieve horses from stables or recall your main horse to camp. $300. Holy smokes. And a chicken coop. Local farms are selling off all coops. So leather working tools. $225. Holy crap. Okay. Goes back to my original goal. I think I mentioned, I don't know, last episode that we wanted to get a thousand bucks. This is probably why. Something with kick. Provisions for Pearson's wagon. Add fresh fruit and basic canned goods. Or just resupply the wagon. It's just resupply the wagon. I think we do some of this resupply, right? Uh. Okay, so then medicine is stocked, kind of. Uh, next page. Yeah, we just restock eight there. At least it's in the yellow instead of the red. That's progress. But if we want to get something really good, yeah, we're going to have... Why is it my business to do this? I feel like this would fall to Dutch, doesn't it? All right, I already donated that that way, so I'm not going to worry about it. Now they're now they're in the white and yellow, so that's something. All right, while we're here, might as well shave just to make sure we're good. Oh, we got some kind of cut on us there. Oh no, that's um, that's from the blood. Wow. The hell. Tilly's just being ringed on here. Wow. What the hell, Susan? Always good to see. Men that don't have the sense to wash off blood. I mean, I was just carrying in a deer. Come on. You can help, you know. I suppose I feel like I should go clean myself off. All right. Let's uh, let's go back to our horse. Cause we're doing bounties, right? We're just, this is the rest of what we're gonna do. She had better ideas than me. She ain't the only one. Okay, don't know why I'm talking to Abigail there. All right, so pick up a sack. Why would we want to pick up a sack? Like, where would we carry this? If we had a point to it. What is this stuff anyway? Take the sack to Pearson's wagon. Okay. Oh, you have to do camp. You have to do chores. Well, that makes sense. Seems like someone's got to do something around town. Around the camp, rather. I mean, the camp's got a lot of stuff to do. I jog over here a little bit. Not exactly, but I can mash X a little bit. Me too, Arthur. You get oh, you crazy, Dutch. Absolutely not, Dutch. You know okay, so dump this off at Pearson's wagon, like, here? Oh, yeah, here we go. Put down the sack. All right. Oh, it's maize. Okay. I mean, everyone needs corn, right? Okay, there was another one. Um, down here. Is that where the question mark is? Yeah, that's where the question mark note is. Okay. It's funny they didn't tell us chores were a thing. Until I happened to come by and just find a random pick up a sack notation. That was weird. Alright, one more thing here. Why not? Why not? We gotta do chores. Camp's not gonna get on by itself here. You need 
to keep all that blood on you. I mean, she's not wrong. You wanna pour that water over me? That'd be great. The blood will eventually just go away on its own. It's funny everyone just keeps remarking on it, though. Okay, so this one goes right here. Maybe? No? Uh, somewhere? How come nobody else moves those? I mean, that's a very good question, kid. Why does no one else do this? Here we go. Over here. Okay. I got more Deadeye for that, and of course Karma. Is there more over there? Question mark. And this might be my entire day here. There is a question mark there, maybe? Maybe there's a third satchel. Just saw the two, but... What have you been up to, Arthur? I mean, we gotta talk to Karen. You wanna talk? Alright, what the hell, we'll talk to her. I don't know. I just don't feel myself. Been out a lot. Sure. Anything fun? I mean, I've been bad. Of? I've been killing animals just for the hell of it. Not true. That's it. Well, also killed a bunch of innocent folk. I don't know why. What's wrong with you, Arthur? I just get so angry about everything, about how this is going to end. Well, it'll only end well if you keep your mind, Arthur. We need you. I know. Okay. Apparently, going just going to confession every once in a while is good for you? Okay. That was the question mark there. Not exactly a chore, but necessary, I suppose. Alright, let's go back to our horse. I mean, I guess we did kill an innocent person last episode, or two innocent people. Didn't mean to, just, you know, stuff happens. It's interesting that there's actually, like, character reasons, though. I suppose the same thing was, was true in, um, Grand Theft, Grand Theft Auto is that you would just go around killing things and then sometimes the character like in I don't remember Grand Theft Auto 3 there were always lambasting CJ for going a little wild they're like what the hell are you doing CJ yeah. CJ's like I don't know man I just feel the compulsion just do this stuff which is of course the player doing that the character doesn't know that Oh, you know, I didn't mark the, uh, the map. We'll just do that. Okay, so. We didn't need a shave, which is great. Let's go over to our bounty over here. Yeah, the bounty poster. There you go. Alright. Supposedly there's treasure. Maybe we'll find another treasure map we can actually read. Or maybe what it takes is you have to actually like get in like a region. Hey, Mister. Like we have to get like nearby, and then Arthur's like, "Oh yeah, that totally looks like the thing that's written down here." We will have been spotted. We see a rock that looks like a face from a certain angle. We know that's a treasure spot. Whether or not that's likely to happen, I don't know. Oh, there's a question mark over here. Okay, hold up. Easy, easy. Uh, looks like a game, maybe? Though, the game would probably be there anyway. And this looks like just a train station. Isn't this where we picked up the Reverend Swanson? This looks very familiar, but maybe not. Uh, let's go down. Go down over here. I mean, it does kind of have that same look. I thought the Reverend was actually further along. Yeah, yeah, this is just the this is just the poker game, right? There's a there's a guy right there. Okay, hey doggy. All right, let's go say hello. What could possibly go wrong? Hmm. Do you spoke, sir? 
I mean, this day and age isn't everybody. Sure, but perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day Holy just so I can crap. keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Get to. Oh. And the amount of money? <laughs> a veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here, circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, of course. Yeah. But you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Rambler, at your service. Yeah, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. I have to smoke a lot of cigarettes to do that. Well, we knew that there was a reason to collect the set. Just didn't realize we'd be able to pay it off, I guess. Hey, doggy. Can I pet the dog? I can't pet the dog? No, there we go. Hey, dog. Right. Pat dog. Then Pat. Hello, boy. There we go. All right. Well, so that was that question mark. We can do a game here, but that's probably not a good way to get rich. Like they were only doing like penny bets. Into a high stakes game. It'd be nice, but probably not likely. Anytime soon, anyway. You know, I was just watching some Maverick the other day, because you know, playing Red Dead Redemption. Seems like, you know, kind of just a thing to do. And Maverick's doing these games where he's paying, where the pot is like hundreds of dollars. And in the movie Maverick, they have to put in a $20,000 stake. And I'm like, where the hell do you find these games? I mean, I guess if you're a professional gambler, you can just do that. But holy crap, man. Like, that was absolutely nuts. Hold on, just another question mark area. Definitely some white in this. Yeah, here we go. Somebody else here, too. Finding all the side quests, aren't we? Oh, there's totally a guy up on that ridge. That's what it is. All right, let's go say hello to those nice people on the ridge. Oh, is this guy looking for treasure, too? He might be looking for treasure. All right, let's go talk to this nice person. He does look like a prospector. Can I show you something? All right, what do you got? What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem for me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. No, no, wait. Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Yep, sure. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, 
<laughs> Rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes! Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... <gasps> Ten dollars. A trifling investment huh. for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Sounds like a scam, but fuck it. Why not? We have the ten. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Yeah, he's probably sold about 30 of those maps right now. I mean, what? You spend, like, what? Two days drawing those maps. Sell them for ten dollars a pop. Not a bad day's work back in the day. All right, let's see if this is actually like anything. It'd be funny if it's like um that map in Monkey Islands. Everyone has a copy. All right, so go over to documents and treasure maps. No photographs, newspapers. Have we had a treasure maps thing? Do we have one? Spirit cards. I'm a collection of maps. No, that's the wrong one. The legendary animal map. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Hold up. Yeah, but if this gives us... Oh, interesting. Okay, so we've already got the fox and the bear. Apparently near the bear is a legendary elk and a legendary wolf. There's a legendary beaver over that way. Okay, okay. Legendary bison. Okay, so no, they totally... So it's not on our regular map, because of course not. Why would it be? But okay, now we know. All right. Anyway, one treasure map. Treasure, treasure map. Satchel, there we go. Okay, so probably over in documents. Letters, notes, maps, cigarette cards, business cards, cigarette cards, newspapers, cigarette cards. Journal, photographs. I thought we had... It was treasure maps. you think it would be in maps. It's funny there's like... What, three things for cigarette cards? But I guess... Oh, it's a, it's a collection, that's why. There we go, treasure maps, first thing. Okay. So, Jack Hall Gang map number one. Oh, crap. Okay. Alright, so... Supposedly... In, like, a desert area. Nothing on the backside. Never, don't know why I expect there to be, but sometimes there just isn't. Okay, so it's off the town. So, from the ridge, go down to the gorge, it looks like. There should be a spot. That's what it says. We even in the right spot. Like, it seems like this would at least be a start, but... Well, so... Maybe, right? Because if that's... I mean, it says it didn't like being near a town. You look at our map, the actual real map that actually represents reality. Uh, there is flat next station over there. I have no idea what this is over here, though. What is that supposed to be? I'm not sure. But they do not make it easy, do they? I mean, why would they, I suppose? If they just pointed you exactly to where the treasure was, like, how much fun would that be? Probably more satisfying to just do it yourself. Oh, you know what? So there's, like, Yarrow over here, which Arthur has helpfully written down as the map. And over here is probably, like, I don't know, Snow Violet or whatever the hell this is. That's probably what that's supposed to represent. Be nice if the treasure map actually, like, pointed out, like, real landmarks, like, say, the river. Okay, so back up, go back to the satchel, look at that treasure map again. Okay, assuming we're in the right place, what we need is those two protruding rocks. They're apparently even with us, then we go down to those rocks. That's what it needs to be. Okay, so. 
Triple-teaming rocks were about as high as we are. Honestly, I do not see here. Could have been looking in the wrong place. Let's see if it's over on the other side of the cliff over the side. Might as well jog over there. What the hell? Get some stamina up. Don't fall off the edge of the map. Or edge of the cliff, rather. That'd be embarrassing. The slope here that does nothing for me. Yeah, okay, that isn't it. Don't fall down, Arthur. Again, be embarrassing. Oh, there's a nice little train bridge there. I think that would have made the map. If it was actually a thing. Not like it is. Alright, so this is not the right cliff. Yeah, with that kind of structure, I'm mean, the only thing that's maybe kind of similar. I think he was in the wrong place for it, though. Okay, we got stamina 75% to level 6. That's pretty cool. We get for just running around, I guess. Yeah, I don't see anything that's right for this. I think the guy was standing in the wrong place. I think we have a map for the Jack Hall gang that leads somewhere where... Somewhere off in the distance somewhere, but I don't think it's here. Because, like, why wouldn't the river make the map, right? But I think we're looking for a place that doesn't have a river. Hmm. All right, well, think about that. We were ostensibly going to get a bounty, right? Let's go take care of that. Hey, Tordarian. What? We keep on boosting up our stamina. Eventually, we'll be able to capture a horse. I think we've got to get, like... Yep. I don't know. Probably, my guess is like three fourths of a circle at least. Oh, that's a cliff. Not go off the cliff. How do we get up here? That's a very good question, actually. How the hell did we get up here? How do we get back down? Is probably the more pressing question. Uh, just follow the cliff edge. Eventually, we will see a slope or something. How the hell did we get up here? How we just followed a road? Okay, so we go. Gotta be a slope somewhere. Uh, go this way. Just don't go too far. This is a slope. This is this is a slope here. Okay, good. And then down this way, maybe. I mean, that leads me down towards. Oh, no, that, that might be right. That might be right. Just take it slow, just in case it's more of a yeah. slope than I think it is. He says, going faster. Ah, okay, this is fine. Yeah, good horse. Good, well done. Well done. Yay, made it to the road. Huzzah. Yeah. Didn't jump off anything. Yet, I suppose. Ah. It would have only jumped off of a area once. Didn't actually kill our horse, just, you know, almost. Alright, go through here. We're gonna eventually get to this bounty. It's gonna happen. It's just gonna take us a while to get there. Keep on getting distracted. Uh, it's bounty hunter stuff. I don't want to interfere with fellow bounty hunter, so no thanks. And the nice thing is we'll be over in Strawberry, where we're not wanted anymore, and be able to actually, you know, move around. And I suppose it's near the story. Should we do the story? trouble is we're wanted dead or alive in that territory. It's going to be tricky for sure. But I do need to practice, and sometimes the best way to practice is just go in and try to do it. We're thinking about... Hmm. How the train's just stopped here, huh? That's not helpful. Go around. Uh, this is the back of the train? Yeah, this is the back. I'm halfway tempted to rob a train. We have to stop the... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We wait till it gets going again before we jump on. That'd be the safest way to rob a train. Hmm. We just paid up for a bounty. Should we do it, though? 
The thing is, it might be pretty lucrative. Let's look at the track here. Let's see what we would have to do. There's a couple of good spots here. We could ride along the... Oh, yep, don't, don't fall off the, the cliff. I mean, it's a possibility. We start from the front or work our way toward it. Might be a little crazy. Might be a little nuts. Might be fun. All right, let's try this. Let's go. All right, got on the train. That ain't right. You're right. That ain't right. Of course, he's gonna follow us. Okay. Let's go. We'll see if passengers eventually, right? Go on, get. Uh. Okay. He's out. Loot him. Of course, then we gotta jump off the train again. That's gonna be the real trick. That's gonna be the real trick. Oh, you know what we should, probably should do? Is uh, make sure we have our mask up. We don't have our mask up is what I said. Mask up. There we go. Now we're a real robber. Let's go. Uh, it's not a square. There we go. Make sure they're not going to keep me on a bridge here. Get him on it. It's fine. Okay, one down. Don't see the other guy, though. That worked out pretty well. All right. Up we go. Loot the body. Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. Hold on, I'm robbing somebody. Hold on. That worked out. Oh, okay. Nope, the train stop. Train stop. That's bad. That's bad for me. Gotta go. Gotta go. Oh, shoot. We gotta keep in mind the stops, man. Gotta keep in mind the stops. Where the hell is my horse? Okay, here we go. Alright, here we go. Hey, that worked. We got like one more guy. Help my horse. Okay, that worked too. I'm gonna need to. No! We're doing so well. I'm kind of a neophyte. On the upside, okay, so we are gonna lose some money here. But, but we still did loot like three guys, right? Three, two, it was two or three. We still looted, so we still got their stuff. So chances are... Yeah, we lost five bucks, but I think we're going to come out ahead. I think we're going to come out ahead. All right, let's eat some meat and stuff. Yeah, he does not look good, does he? Let's, uh, let's get some provisions up in you here. Um, let's eat the pork. What the hell? There you go. Feeling much better already. Thank you for watching. This has been Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC Universe, your PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.